A number of Republicans are insisting that Democrats are trying to usher in a kind of American socialism. Uh, Bernie Sanders won the primary in Michigan and unapologetically refers to himself as a Democratic Socialist. Other times he calls himself just a Socialist. I'm curious as to whether you would describe yourself as a Socialist and uh, why or why not. Coleman Young II, you're first. I describe myself as a progressive. I also believe that this is not about socialism, this is just about fair share. We just want corporations to be able to pay their fair share when it comes to taxes. I personally believe that health care is a fundamental right, not a privilege. I believe in everything that's universal, universal health care, universal child care for our working women out there, universal pre-K for our children because they deserve it, and universal background checks for guns. These are not left or right principles. These are just American values that people should have. You should not go broke in America because you're sick. You should not have to worry about your children and whether or not they're going to be shot down by a gunman at your school. You shouldn't have to worry about whether or not you can afford to pay child care if you're working full time. You should not be struggling to make ends meet if you work full time in America. These are American values. I am a progressive. I believe in those values. I stand for those values. And, and that I is time. Your record of that is time. Ian Conyers, uh, your thoughts on American or, or lack of socialism? <laughs> Well, I find it uh, mighty disheartening that a group of conservatives are looking to label our party. Uh, I'm a strong Democrat, and when you look at things that President Trump does, like uh, create tariffs in the agricultural industry and then hand out $12 billion, I think that's the pot calling the kettle black. I'm a strong Democrat. I promote the social safety net. I think that if we're not helping people and serving the least of the, we can't even talk about the ladders to opportunity. That's felt nowhere more than in the 13th Congressional District. Uh, I believe in making sure that everyone has access to a job, everyone has access to great public education, and that everyone has access to health care. You know, there's a bill that's been out there for a long time, H.R. 1000, that makes sure that everyone has a, a chance to work in this country. Everyone who wants to work has the opportunity to do so, and I support that wholeheartedly. Rashida Tlaib, you're next on this matter. I think it's not a big secret that uh, people for Bernie support me. Our revolution supports me because I truly believe in universal health care. I truly believe everyone could work hard and not live in poverty. I truly believe that no one ever should go hungry in their homes, especially when you see the imbalance and unjust society when it comes to tax breaks for the rich. And when I walk by the hockey stadium downtown Detroit while other schools down the street from my home are getting closed, where $400 million is being taken away from a school aid fund into an adult playground. That kind of imbalance and unjust is what drives me to run. It was drives me to say that I will fight and not back down on corporate greed. You can label me a socialist, you you can label me a Democrat, you can label me a liberal, but what I am for is the people of the 13th Congressional District. Every single one of them deserves a fighter that is not going to back down until they are able to thrive, to be able to live freely without having to worry about where their next meal is coming from, without having to worry that they feel that like they're time. less than. Bill Wild, your turn on this matter. So I, I think the, the American people are, they're, they're tight of labels. Um, I, I can tell you that as, as a mayor, I've been described as, because I'm a small business owner, as is maybe he has the head of a CEO, but he's got the heart of a social worker. And I found that by balancing that out was the way that we were able to make progress. I can tell you that what we look at, when we look at America in the 13th Congressional District, it's been said several times tonight, is one of the most extremely challenged from a median income standpoint in the entire country. But what Americans are seeing is that there is a bigger divide between the, the extremely wealthy and the rest of America. The middle class is evaporating. So. When you take a look at the recent Republican tax cut that was voted yes by every Republican, no by every Democrat, it gave on average a tax cut to the wealthiest Americans of $33,000. That is the median income of the 13th Congressional District. And next on this matter uh, is Brenda Jones. Thank you. I'm a strong Democrat, and I know that people are fighting for democracy. And people in other countries want democracy. I believe that um, what is going on now is, is truly unbelievable. I will fight for the progressive and I will fight to bring the Republican for an understanding that you have to make sure that there is parity. 
and that no one should go without food on their table and Democrats fight for the middle class and to make those that are in poverty become a middle class. And when I go to Congress, as a member of Congress, I will fight for just that, that there is no poverty. And last on this question is Chanel Jackson. So, Devin, I'm an African-American woman. And so I'm like my aunts, my mothers, my cousins, you know, and my great-grandmother, grandmother. You know, I consider myself a common sense Democrat. So I'm certainly uh, a very moral person and my faith means everything to me. And in that faith, I understand, like the women before me, that people deserve a social safety net. They deserve an opportunity for government to work on their behalf when they need help. Um, they deserve strong public schools of all types. Uh, they deserve an opportunity really to be able to live and to thrive. And so, you know, as our congressperson, as our congresswoman, I'm going to carry those, those principles with me and that spirit with me, which is um, a moral uh, sense of obligation to make sure that government is working for the everyday person as a common sense Democrat.